Hey YouTube, how's it going today? We got another powder coating video for you. If you watched our last video that we made on uh, the Hellcat Red Eye valve covers, you'll know what we're doing today. If you didn't, stick around, watch the intro, hit that subscribe button, and I'll show you what we're doing. Here we go. All right, you made it this far, that time to show you what we're doing. Like I said, if you saw the Hellcat valve covers that we did, then you'll know we're doing a supercharger for it. We got all the bolts, we got the nose cone. I did start sandblasting on it already. As you can see, I got that all cleaned up. Now I just gotta mask it off, tape it off, get it ready to go in the oven for powder. But the rest of it, as you can tell, I haven't touched. So we got a lot of masking, a lot of sandblasting, a lot of cleanup. Keeping things clean on it. Because obviously you can't get can't sandblast in where the the rotor blades go and stuff like that. So I'm going to start getting that ready, start getting it masked off, ready for sandblasting, get it cleaned up, and if you stick around, you'll see what it looks like, and you'll see what we're doing to it. So here we go. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. We just finished sandblasting up this uh, supercharger. As you can see, the top looks a lot better. The inlet, all the nuts and bolts. There's the main portion. There's a lot of places that I can't sandblast to get clean but we have all the sides the front's done but I just can't get down in there with a sandblaster because well I don't want to do, ruin the the blower so I'm gonna mask it off I'm gonna throw it in the oven out gas it get some primer on it and powder coat it show you what we're doing for the color here shortly the nuts or the bolts that hold it all together. I'm gonna to be doing those in a satin black to match the valve covers. The supercharger itself, I'm doing something different. It's not anything too fancy, but it's gonna look pretty nice sitting on top of that motor. It's gonna look almost factory. So I'm gonna go throw this in the oven, get some heat on it, make sure it's all nice outgassed. And uh, from that point, we're gonna get some color to it. So stick around, see what kind of change happens. All right, we just finished off the outgassing process on these blower parts, and we just spent quite a bit of time masking off everything. So here we are. You can see I got the blue tape over all the intake runners, the gasket surfaces. We've got plugs in the, the injector holes, over the ends where all the blower bearings go the bottom, everything else, even the intake. Got that all taped up, ready to go. So now, we're gonna spray some primer onto it. Some milk gas for giving primer, let it do its thing, and then we're gonna put the top coat, the color, and uh, unmask everything and see how we look. See if it looks as good as we hope it does. And I can give back to the customer tomorrow and. He can go burn some rubber off them tires. So stick around, watch me spray some primer, and away we go. And there we have it. In eight seconds, I got everything sprayed and ready to go. Now if only it was really that quick. Gotta love time-lapse stuff, but nonetheless, we got them sprayed and with a oak gas primer. I'm gonna let them do their thing. I'm gonna get the powder loaded up for the next color and uh, get ready to spray everything. So stick around. Here we go. Hey, welcome back. Here we are. Just finished up the primer on the supercharger. As you can see, it's nice and slow, nice and decently smooth. 
casting is kind of rough anyway so the primer is hopefully going to help it a little bit but it doesn't really matter because we're spraying a textured black on this supercharger real nice dark black it's a lot like the SNS wrinkle black out there that you see on the Harley Davidsons and I think this is going to make this supercharger look real sharp real nice under the hood of that car so I've got it all loaded up in my gun so we're going to get spraying some uh, textured black so here we go And there we have it. As you just saw, I just sprayed the, the black. Now we gotta let it heat up, do its cure time, let it wrinkle all up, and we'll see what it looks like in the end. In the meantime, I've got a whole bunch of bolts that I'm gonna be painting that uh, also go on there. So I gotta get them sandblasted, get them ready to go in the oven for primer, and then once I'm done them, then we'll be done the whole supercharger, bolts, valve covers, everything to make that car look nice and new under the hood. So stick around, we'll be right back, show you the final product. All right, I promised you that I was gonna show you what this supercharger was gonna look like when it was done. Well, I can do that now. So we got all the bolts and everything done. See, bolts. Try and get them half decent. They were done in a satin black. There we go, that looks better. And that satin black matches the valve covers that I did earlier. But the supercharger itself, I said, was going textured black. So there it is. And you can see, even the bolts there, a little bit of satin black in there just to throw a little bit of contrast to it. You can see. Masked off all that. The different areas that needed to be masked off. Even right into there. That was all kept clean. This should be able to just be bolted back on. Wiped out. Oiled up a little bit. Put back together. And go burn some rubber off some tires. Now that's, that's up for the customer to do. Not me. I kind of wish I was, but hey, I can make other things look good too. I still got some Ford rims to do. Still got my RX-7 rims. I still got the Harley Davidson parts I'm doing. I'm doing up some golf cart pieces right now. Not enough there to really make much of a video that'll be that interesting. A uh, few other little projects on the go. And I'm going to be doing uh, something else in my side-by-side gonna wire up some more lights to it get some LED fog lights going for when I'm plowing I have lights so you'll see me working on that as well so till next time I'm gonna make some pictures show this off a little bit and uh, get ready to ready to deliver it to the customer tomorrow so while I've been talking gives you lots of time to go hit that subscribe button Hit, hit the like button, drop a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. So till next time, stay warm, keep it loud.